What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Italian and AC Milan legend Franco Baresi in the second part of a two-part review with Cannavaro and Baresi. Uh, this team, like I said in the other video, which I will link down in the description below, is in a 4-3-3 fourth variation formation. My favorite formation on this game and they played very well together. I had a very good time playing with this team. I loved Baresi at the back. Him and Cannavaro worked amazingly together. And as you'll see with my rating for Baresi, these are the two highest rated center backs I have done so far. Uh, just letting you guys know in advance, he is a 92 overall, which I believe is tied for the second best um, defender legend overall. Um, so obviously he's going to be good. I had a ton of fun playing with him. He's a little small. But he does all the little things right, and he is a great defender to have. Uh, he's trustworthy and awesome at your back line. Let's go ahead now, guys, and take a look at his face card stats. 76 pace, 39 shot, 73 passing, 70 dribbling, 94 defending, and 82 physical. He also has a 3-star weak foot and 2-star skill moves with a medium-medium work rate. And I did not score any goals in six games with him, but I really didn't need him to score goals for me because he was that good at the back. I'm telling you right now, guys, he's probably one of the better legend defenders that I've played with uh, so far on this game as well as on FIFA 15. Like I said, he's a little short, but besides that, guys, he is awesome. We're going to go ahead now and take a look at his in-game stats, and then we're going to take a look at his highlights for the pros and cons thereafter. Bracey's in-game stats, guys, 95 interceptions, 85 jumping, 89 reactions, 91 stamina, 89 ball control, 94 marking, 86 short pass, 3-star weak foot, 2-star skills, medium, medium work rate. He also has a tackling, tactician specialities, and long passer, team player trait. This guy is an absolute beast, and he's so good on the back line, so reliable for my defense. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some highlights, guys, and jump right into Baresi's pros and cons. My first pro for Baresi, just like Cannavaro, was his tackling. Let me just go ahead and give you, once again, the tackling in-game stats of Baresi. With a 94 defensive rating, he also has 96 standing tackling and a 92 sliding tackling rating. Uh, this guy is just so clutch at making that crucial tackle in the final third, and he often saved my team from letting the other team get a good shot on goal. I like to say an attacker has a pure shot. Well, in my opinion, Bresti is one of the purest tacklers um, I have used in all the years I've played FIFA, honestly. Now, my second pro for Bresti, once again, just like Cannavaro, is his pace. With a 76 pace rating, I mean, some of these highlights, you're going to see a speedy, Baresi track back and run down a defender, uh, getting the ball back or forcing the attacker to take an awkward shot. Baresi definitely uses his smaller frame to his advantage in this aspect, um, as you would expect a smaller center back to be pacier than a big stocky one, and Baresi is just that. My third pro for Baresi is his ability with the ball or his ball control. Uh, he doesn't have any amazing dribbling or passing ratings, but honestly, he is one of the better defenders I've used at holding the ball up and starting up offensive uh, play from a takeaway. You'll see in a lot of these clips, Baresi is able to make uh, to get forward and make an interception, and um, then he is able to weave in out, win in, in and out of a couple of the, uh, midfielders, excuse me, uh, to pick out a nice through ball to a winger on the break. Uh, this guy is amazing at ball control and getting possession for his team. Now, I do have one con for Bressi, and like I said earlier, uh, this is his size. Now, he definitely uses his, uh, this to his advantage pace-wise, but if you're playing against a taller striker like an Ibra, for example, uh, Bressa, Bressi, in my, exam, or in my opinion, would struggle at defending anything in the air such as headers or through balls. Uh, strength really isn't the problem for Bressi. Um, it's just a factor of his height. And this really decreased Baresi's value um, a little bit for me. Now, I actually do have a smaller second con that I did not include in his summary. Um, and that is his ability to score. You guys hate when I do this one. Um, but with the exact rating that Cannavaro has with a 39 shot rating, you definitely can't expect Baresi to score all that much unless you have a tapping goal or a ground across um, like I had in this video that maybe he can get his foot to... Uh, get his foot to um, and I know you guys hate when I factor this in 
But as always, if I'm going to spend 400k on a defender, um, I definitely like him to score for me. This is now, though, going to take me into the overall summary of Franco Baresi, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Um, passing Cannavaro, this is my highest center back rating yet. His pros and cons um, are listed as well as the games played, the goals which he didn't have, the pass completion percentage, tackles one percentage, and his average match rating. Um, in six games, him and Cannavaro only had one clean sheet, but they did still hold an impressive 1.5 goals allowed a game. I mean, I definitely think, like I said in the other video, that I can score more than 1.5 goals a game, so I was definitely happy with those two on the back line. Uh, Bressi's size being his only huge downfall, he's a sure tackler uh, that can start up offensive play and possession for your team, and he's definitely a vital asset to any team. So up next in my review, guys, we have the first three-part review, including Vieri, Zola, and Inzaghi. Keep requesting legends, guys. I'm going to keep my list going. As always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you guys checking out this review, and until next time, I will talk to you later.